Hello everyone. So one of the most general questions that students generally ask me, the, I mean the students who are preparing for UGC net examination is which book should I follow or which notes or what reference materials should I follow. So in this video I am just discussing about the books, some of the books that you can refer and out of these books I have given some of, for some of the options I have given multiple options, I mean uh, multiple books for the same uh, uh, subject. Now I'm going to also going to tell you that which books I referred or which I feel that which book is better as compared to the other books. Okay, so we have a total of 23 subjects in UGC Net as you already know, and out of those 23 subjects, 18 subjects are the major subjects. And for all those 18 subjects, I've already created a video which is telling you what is the percentage of marks you are going to get from that particular subject. Okay, I mean out of all those 23 subjects, 18 are the major uh, major subjects. And I've already told you what are the uh, percentage of marks you are going to get from that particular subject. Okay, even after the pattern has changed, I've created that video before the pattern changed. That is when we used to have paper two and paper three. Now the pattern of the UGC net examination has changed. We have two papers now. Number one is paper one, which is of one hour, and then we'll be having a paper two. And paper two is a completely technical paper. But I feel that the percentage of uh, marks that you are going to get from one subject that will not change even though even if the pattern has changed okay now if you want to refer the books uh, for your exam preparation uh, i'm going to take all the subjects one by one for example the first subject is discrete mathematics so you can refer two books here one is from shom Shari, second one is the kenneth h rawson now out of these two books i feel that personally i feel that this kenneth h rawson is a better book if, even if you uh, take this book do all the practice questions that is given the exercise of Kenneth H. Rawson then you don't even need to refer any other book there's huge lot of practice questions that is given after every chapter in Kenneth H. Rawson okay so that is the only book that you need to refer then we have theory of computation now for theory of computation uh, we have two books one is Peter Linz and second one is uh, Ullman out of these two books personally I feel that Peter Linz is a better book but if you want to refer a uh, local author book I referred multiple local author books also uh, then I found that there's a book called as Puntam Baker. The author name is Puntam Baker. Now this book is very easy to understand. I don't know, I, I don't know remember the spelling that you can check. This is also available on, on Amazon for various university examination. That is a local author book. But I feel this is a very good book that you can buy for easy understanding of the concepts. Then we have databases that is relational design and databases. For this we have two books. One is Namathe and second one is Korth. So you can buy both the books because some topics are given better in Navathe and some topics are given better in Korth. Okay. So both the books you need to refer. Then for graph theory, graph theory, uh, it is optional that you can refer a separate book for graph theory because if you buy discrete mathematics from uh, Kenneth H. Rawson, now this graph theory is already uh, included in this discrete mathematics book. But if in case you want to refer a book which is specifically for graph theory, theory only, then you can refer Narsimha. Nursing Dio. This is a very good book for graph theory. So you don't need to refer any other book. This is only a book which is I think which is a very old book which is written uh, many years ago but still this book is up to date till this point of time. Now for data structures you can see data and file structure there are two books that you can refer one is Tenenbaum and second one is Nasima Karumanchi. Now this Nasima Karumanchi is personally I feel it is a better book as compared to any other book for uh, Indian competitive examinations. Even if you are preparing for GATE or even if you are preparing for UGC net examination, still Narsimha Karumanchi is a very good book. Now for this, you can buy a book which is uh, Data Structures, Data Structures Made Easy by Narsimha Karumanchi or you can refer the book which is Data Structure for GATE by Narsimha Karumanchi. Both the books are really, really good. Okay. Then you can refer for computer architecture, you can refer Maurice Menon is the only book that you need to refer. Don't go for any other books that is not required. There is a single book that you can refer. Okay. Then we have computer networks. For computer networks, the only book that I will suggest you is Frozen. But that's your wish if you want to refer Tenenbaum and William Stallings. But personally, I only refer Frozen. I, I don't feel that you need to refer any other books for computer networks. Then for compiler design, we have Ullman, that's the only book. You know, don't need to refer any other book. These are just the name of the authors, which is Aho, uh, Sethi, and Ullman. Then we have operating system. The only book that you need to refer is Galvin. Okay, uh, William Stallings is an option if you want to take. You can also uh, refer Tenenbaum for uh, operating system, 
but if you just want to buy only one book then uh, Galvin is the only book that you need to refer you don't have to refer any other book a part of this for software engineering uh, Rober S. Pressman is a standard author book that you want to refer that you need to refer but if you want to take a local author book then you can take KK Agarwal that's okay for computer graphics you can refer Hearn and Baker the only book you don't need to buy any other book for this for programming and algorithms the only book that you need to refer is Corman so Corman is called as the Bible of computer science the Bible of algorithms so every algorithm that you need to learn that is given in Corman a part of this for artificial intelligence Kevin Knight is a book, that's it, you don't need to refer any other book. For C++, you can refer KK Venugopal, that is mastering with C++. Any book for C++ will do, because they are not asking you very difficult questions from C++. So any uh, standard book or any uh, book uh, that you find for C++, that is more than enough for exam preparation for this. For Unix, you can refer Sumitha, Sumitha Das. Now for digital image processing, again this is a subject which is also, you know, very uh, few books are given for this. Uh, you need, you can refer Madhuri H. Joshi which is a very easy book to understand because uh, the language is also easy. For operation research which is also called as linear programming, you can refer J.K. Sharma and S.D. Sharma. For microprocessor, you can refer Ramesh Gaonkar. Multiple books are available but I have given these books because these are the subjects where you can get uh, only few marks. I mean. Uh, the number of marks they are asking from subjects like Unix, the subject like image processing, that is one or two marks. They are hardly going to ask any question from this. For example, last time they have not asked even a single question from Unix, right? So if you want to ref, uh, you want to skip the subject, then you can skip Unix. For Java, you can refer any book, any basics book, because they are just asking the concepts of object-oriented programming. So they can ask those concepts of object-oriented programming using C++, or they can ask those questions from Java okay you don't need to go in much depth of Java because uh, they are not asking any questions from in-depth study of Java they are just asking simple and easy questions from Java so any book that you have you can refer that for XML and HTML and web development you can refer W3 schools that is an online repository or you can book any lo any book that you find on XML or HTML this uh, the question they are asking is very easy uh, comparatively and also uh, this is also one of the easiest subject okay now secondly uh, these are the books that I told you that you can refer but it is not necessary that you can refer all the books the first priority that I have given is that the video lectures that you have taken from me from us uh, they are more than enough well, because last year many students taken our video lectures they have qualified the UG Senate as well as JRF just from the video lectures they have studied from us okay because we have created so many videos there are approximately 4500 plus videos that we have created for UG Senate exam preparation so if you are if you have taken a subscription for those video lectures just finish those video lectures first whatever the topics I have covered that is more than enough if some topics I have left or some topics I have skipped that means you are hardly going to have any question from that particular topic so I have created a material which is very easy to understand plus everything uh, you can every exam that you can clear from this even if you are preparing for DSSB examination or even if you are preparing for KVS examination or UPPCL or GATE examination whatever material I have created that is, that is more than enough for the preparation of those examinations and to secure a good rank and to qualify for job and vacancies okay. So first preference should be uh, given to completing my videos second preference should be given to the test series that is given by us take the test series practice as much as possible because practice is the key to success and uh, take these standard books go to the exercise portion of these books because exercise portion uh, clears a lot of doubts for example if you see the book which is Kenneth H. Rawson if you go to the exercise portion of Kenneth H. Rawson the huge huge number of questions that they have given now just try to solve those questions and if even if you are able to solve those questions that's more than enough for your exam preparation whether it is gate whether it is UGC or any exam which is given for uh, anywhere where uh, uh, discrete mathematics is a subject you can clear that particular examination because that is a very very good book for discrete mathematics okay now uh, secondly uh, after that uh, the practice questions you have uh, the video solutions that we have already created that you know that from uh, we have taken previous year you just had question papers and we have created video solutions of all those question papers that you have taken and you can refer these books now this much is enough right I'm telling you this much is enough after this you don't need to refer any other book or exam material to clear examination okay and uh, all the best for your preparation
Thank you so much for watching the video.